In a way, my work is like a game of tennis, slow motion tennis. I do something to the canvas and the canvas answers me. And then I do something again. It's like conversation. But sometimes the canvas delivers me a screwball and then I have to contemplate for a while. It takes time. I would like to suggest that looking for interpretation is looking for something else than the artwork. And when looking for interpretation, you need representation. I would like to suggest that representation makes you look for something else than the actual artwork. I spend a lot of time thinking about how my artwork can have a, a vibe of strangeness, of Unheimlichkeit. I try with my work to be transparent, and by being that, I try to point to the luminous qualities of the world. I try to feel more. I like my audience to feel more. The audience for Torbjörn Beckman's works often get very surprised when they meet the works in real life. The exquisite quality of Beckman's works is, is the gentleness which is found both in the surface of the works but also in the layering of the works. I try to regain my senses and hopefully offer a possibility for the viewer to regain his or her senses, to feel more. I try to cut back content so I can see and feel and not understand. With my work, I would like to suggest another way of experiencing the world, what Susan Sontag calls an erotic sense of the world. The uniqueness of these works are also that you can't find brush, uh, brush strokes in the works, you don't see brush strokes in the works, but you find marks and certain remnants of where the artist has been producing the work. They're very much alive, not just because of the colour, but also because of these small details which jump out of the works when you, when you meet them for real. Mm -hmm. 